Here's another movie I wanted to talk about just because it's kind of slow right now. But yeah, I just want to talk about this movie because it's one of my all time favorites for some reason. So I'm Chet, this here is Chet Chet, and I wanted to talk about Blue Streak. So Blue Streak is a comedy with Martin Lawrence and Luke Wilson, Owen Wilson's brother without the broken nose. And it's a nice little comedy story, man. I just really enjoy this movie just because of how it is. So the plot is that Martin Lawrence's character, he's actually a jewel thief and he steals this jewel from this building building and one of his crew members actually betrays all of them and shoots one of them and Marlon Lawrence is forced to escape quickly not without the cops actually coming to the scene and surrounding the area so Martin sees that he's going to get arrested he can't escape getting arrested so he hides the gem this like big diamond kind of thing in an air duct in this building that was across the street that is actually still under construction so he remembers the street address and he goes to prison he serves his time for two years and he comes out of prison he tries to you know reconnect with his girlfriend and stuff but it doesn't work out and he's like you know what let me just go and get my money and I'll be I'll be rich so he goes back to the site and he finds out that the building that was under construction was actually going to become a new police precinct and it does become a police precinct one of this huge police precinct out of nowhere so he decides to make a fake file and become a detective a fake detective and it's already a terrible premise because how is other detectives people who are supposed to you know do background checks not going to realize that Marlon Lawrence's character is a fake detective Detective. But they actually address that in the movie where the, the person who makes the fake file for him, he's like, this is only cosmetic. It's not going to last for a long time. So you better go in and get out and do what you got to do because you're going to get caught eventually. So this movie takes on this big roller coaster of conflicts and funny stuff that happens and it all just works out so well to me. I felt like the director, he knew that this is how you make a movie. And I know that it's going to be obvious that this is how I'm making it look like a movie. Like this is like so many plot driven things happen, but he does it in such a way that it's enjoyable and you realize that oh this is the part that this should happen and he does it but it's so refreshing and fun and I know some people just don't like Martin Lawrence but I feel like this is the best Martin Lawrence movie out in my opinion and that doesn't say much but it's a gem among the garbage that he's done Big Mama's House 2 I actually like Big Mama's House 1 but Big Mama's House 2 hell no I feel like it actually aged well so I would definitely recommend watching Blue Streak it's like my guilty pleasure I know it's not the most mind-bending movie or interesting but it is a lot of fun it takes you on this trip and the characters are great and the directing is really well done i feel like the pacing is great the jokes are not too low-key or you know cheesy it's fun it's a good time all around and you don't really have to sp suspend your disbelief too much because they address a lot of things where you think that you would have a problem with the movie but they, they kind of work their way around it it's it's fun you know come to think of it this movie is like it's really hard to choose between this one and nothing to lose for martin lawrence but i really love this movie a lot and i definitely recommend it so yeah go watch it so that's it for this one i just wanted to give you a little something because it's a slow week you know just give this video a thumbs up if you liked it a thumbs down if you didn't and let me know if you've actually seen blue streak and if you actually enjoyed it as much as i do uh maybe and maybe if you're a big martin lawrence fan you can tell me which movie did you like the most from martin lawrence it better be blue streak but yeah i'm willing to hear you out man so that's it for this one bye